about the internet of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. Moving the whole revolution forward. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well. So what are we learning? So we've got two announced um, projects and then we've got five under NDA. We've got five under NDA. Um, Royal Monetary Authority of Bhutan is a real CBDC, so there's a central bank and they've issued a currency and that's very much uh, at decent stages at the moment. And Palau is actually a US dollar stable coin. So Palau has its own government but no central bank, so they use the US dollar. So we're issuing um, on the public blockchain, on the public XRP ledger, a USD stable coin. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode of 24 Hour Script. Let's get right into today's video. As you guys heard Anthony from Ripple in that intro, talking about issuing USD on the public XRP ledger for Palo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. This goes hand in hand with what Jeremy Allaire said. At the end of the day, when you're issuing this on the XRP ledger, scalability is gonna be your best friend. And you remember what Jeremy Allaire said here, scaling USDC with Ripple's technology. Three and a half trillion dollars of transactions directly on the internet between counterparties. And, and so um, if we can, you know, improve it with more scalable blockchain technologies like, you know, Brad's company. Uh, Go ahead and smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, because this video is about to get even better. We're going to get into the United Nations. We're going to get into the Module Foundation, Montour Authority of Singapore, which I believe are going to announce a partnership with Ripple in regards to CBDCs very soon because we're going to tie everything up together right now. But let's start with this World Economic Forum PDF that was just published four days ago, Blockchain for Scaling Climate Action. Ripple was mentioned here under Funding Public Goods and Impacts Projects, Ripple Sustainability Fund. If you guys recall, back on May 19th, 2022, Ripple commits $100 million to scale and strengthen global carbon markets addresses quality and transparency using blockchain and crypto. And under carbon neutral blockchains, XRP Ledger was mentioned along with Ethereum, Hedera, Filecoin, Polygon, Algorand, and Celo. And folks, take a listen to this part. So we have Ken Weber here, the VP and head of social impact at Ripple. He's also a part of the Modulu Foundation. So going back to carbon neutral blockchains, you guys remember back on December 16th, 2021, Exchange will develop a carbon credit solution on the XRP ledger. Exchange, a securities exchange operated in partnership with the United Nations, announced today that it will develop a carbon credit solution on the carbon neutral XRP ledger. They're all in this together, including Bill Gates, okay? I know some of you guys may not like him, the cheese pizza lover, but at this point, uh, what are we going to do? Okay. We got Ken Weber. And as you guys could see, a board member at the Module Loop Foundation, and he's currently present also with Ripple. Um, Module Foundation launches the Module Loop CBDC Center of Excellence in Singapore. And what do you know? Ripple opens its new office in Singapore way back in 2017. Okay. This is the agenda, this is the roadmap, it's all coming together. Moss launches expanded initiative to advance cross-border connectivity in wholesale CBDCs. Moz today launched UPIN Plus, an expanded collaboration with international partners on cross-border foreign exchange settlement using wholesale CBDCs. And just going into one quick pointer here, they go on to say interoperability between DLT and non-DLT payment systems. Moz is participating in SWIFT's CBDC sandbox together with more than 17 central banks and global commercial banks to explore cross-border interoperability across digital currencies based on DLT and non-DLT payment systems. We do want to have an open and interoperable system. Uh, central bank digital currencies are not constructed to be uh, interoperable.
interoperable interoperability between central bank digital currencies is very much there needs to be interoperability globally and even in a world of cbdc's you still need interoperability to to solve modulum foundation collaborated with monetary authority of singapore and they're still intact okay so they're working together so we have the module foundation with ripple Monto Authority of Singapore, heavy correlations back to Ripple. Now getting on to how Bill Gates is using cryptocurrency Ripple to fight global poverty. If you guys don't remember this, uh, this is hardcore facts and to date it's still, still intact. With Ripple's digital currency XRP, the Modulube will be able to transfer currency quickly and easily across its network. Bill Gates has been involved in the cryptocurrency community for a very long time, and this plan has been years in the making. In a 2016 interview with Bloomberg, the Cheese Pizza had this to say about how digital currencies could help bank the unbanked. It's really the digital revolution. And if you guys remember, this is Ripple, banking the unbanked. Fintech is improving life for billions of people. And Ripple's number one priority when they first started out was the whole vibe of banking the unbanked, okay? Now, getting into this Project Upin, what they refer to right here. Um, take a listen to what they refer to here. Business to personal network powered by Corda. Ladies and gentlemen, we know who's correlated with Corda. And that is this proof of concept published on R3's website, the Corda Settler, utilizing the XRP network for settlement. Ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And before any of you guys start saying, oh, what about XDC? I went over this in my previous videos. There isn't gonna be just one digital asset taking all the money in the world. They're all gonna communicate with each other. One is gonna benefit from another. This environment is still very at early stages and we are just at the beginning of it. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys and we'll be back with We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.